Hey everyone, and welcome to my playthrough of Horror Tales The Wine, right? Yeah, Horror Tales The Wine. Um, don't really know a lot about it, excited to play it, uh, so let's go. A uh, new game. Cats became extinct from, oh, that was too fast. This game has sections where the player has to solve a puzzle while being chased. This may trigger anxiety in some cases. You can disable the enemies on those sections anytime in the accessibility menu. If you do so, they will disappear after a minute chasing you. You can also use the accessibility menu to make text bigger, disabling flashing lights, or increase the glowing outlines. On the other hand, if you want a wild experience, you can totally disable all screen text and help to make the game more immersive. Hmm. I don't think we need that, but... A pandemic which causes strong fevers, terrible delirium, and death has relentlessly decimated the inhabitants of the archipelago. Rumor has it that the pre prestigious red wine produced in the capital can cure the sick. You are Marty Vermelio. Vermelio. In a desperate attempt to cure the infection of your loved ones, you steal a boat and head to the winery where the wit where the red wine is made, somewhere in the capital. Why is the capital abandoned? If you find just one unopened bottle of red wine, it will be enough. On reaching the island, you, you decide to go to the winery owner's estate to try your luck there. The Benedict de Basque family estate is close and has a dock. Okay. A cold smell of death, calm, and silence comes over your body when you arrive at the dock. They sealed off the infected families in their homes without food or water, but even the quarantine didn't work. There is no one left alive. Okay. So it seems. The rail system is currently used to connect the slums to the Benedict Basque winery. It goes too fast. Okay. Oh wow, this is awesome looking. A <laughs> sail home. Um, nah. I thought that was a person over there. Okay. Um, Benedict Basque. Broken bottle of red wine. Oh my god. Why don't they do it with the mouse instead of the keys? Super awkward. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> god damn it. Uh, warning. Access to canals partially restricted due to the publicly known situation in connection with the so-called devil's fever fevers we inform that certain canals and underground passages are closed until further notice anyone who attempts to forcibly open these accesses will be punished to the fullest extent of the law the remaining open canals are available for use provided that lockdown curfew hours are observed Wait. I'm assuming, yeah. It's funny that a bottle of wine can cure it. Okay, due to the notorious situation caused by the devil's fevers, use of all canals and it's strict. Okay, this is like kind of the same. If passage through one of these spaces is necessary for you to reach your residence, request a passage permit at any military headquarters. Reminder, free movement in any, any public place is strictly prohibited during the first day, four days of the week and is limited to necessary activities related to health or work. Okay, I, I can't. Okay, so I guess I can't go that way. Unless they get like a tool or something. Oh my fucking. Oh 
Whew. Fuck, dude. Um. So fucking loud. Oh. oh. Wait, how long does that take? Not very long, huh? Rewards for killing of any bandit Basque. Bounty offered to any citizen who hunts down members of the bandit Basque family. The reward will be double for children. And triple for if the dishonorable Mr. Benedict Bosk is captured alive. They should preferably be killed with a weapon which does not cause them to bleed, but if a rifle is necessary, avoid shooting the head or arteries which may cause pools of blood to form. We remind you that leaving one's residence during quarantine hours is still prohibited, and everyone must take extreme precautions to combat the devil's fevers. We all know that we know what the Benedict de Bosques did. But that does not mean that the rest of us as citizens have a free pass to ignore quarantine just to hunt them down. Damn. Warning, all access routes to Passage de, Ma de Ron de Bloc. Uh, use of that <laughs> for unnecessary travel is strictly prohibited except for local residents until the cause of devil's fevers isn't known. All citizens must comply with these measures in this, this section of Passage de Ronda, except for members of the Honorable Benedibosque family and workers employed in their estate and local authorities. Wait, what? Does not have much stamina. Strange fever extends beyond the slums. The first cases of the widespread fevers have extended beyond the slums, reaching the other side of the river towards areas where wealthier citizens live. For the moment, there is no reason to pay much attention to these fevers, although at this time of year it is strange to have so many cases of flu. Authorities are telling the public not to be alarmed. In an unusual press conference with the Honorable Mr. Banada Bosk, the mayor gave his approval for wine production to continue. Even so, according to information with newspaper has obtained, if cases of fevers continue to rise at the current, current rate, the entire slums district, where the vast majority of immigrants live, will be closed off in confinement to stop further spread of the fevers. Immigration and diseases, problems and solutions. Why does he sound so close? Jesus. They weren't lying, huh? Kinda cheap. Jump scares. Oh, I guess I can go this way, huh? Uh, let me not pick that up just yet. Trespassing. Is that 
probably ramps it, I assume. Shit to read. Attention to any member of the Benedivask family. Wait, was that somebody that just like. I thought I saw something, but anyway. Due to uncontrolled infections related to de devil's fevers appearing among your employees as governor, I am forced to confine your entire family and temporarily put a stop to any wine making activity until further notice. Effective immediately. Well, that bit him in the ass, right? You have been assigned four military guards who will be your link to the outside world and take care of your purchases and other necessary errands. We hope that little Leia's health improves. Is there more on the other side? No. For the attention of the most honorable Mr. Bennett of Osk. It has come to our attention that the several the several of your employees have been infected with the some with what some are calling devil's fevers. For your own safety, rec recommend that you Isolate and dismiss these filthy, irresponsible persons that, under no circumstances, you or... Wait. Oh, and that, under no circumstances, you or the members of your family are to leave your mansion. Who knows what sort of low-class immigrants... Wow. They have been spending their free time with. Additionally, your granddaughter, Le Leia, has been notif noticeably absent from classes for some days now. We hope she is well... Without wanting to cause offense, I remind you that if you or someone in your family is experiencing fever, you should inform the authorities of it for your own welfare. To the Banadabask family and their employees. As you well know, there is a strange fever ravaging the nearby areas that border your mansion. For your own safety, it's like the same stuff. Um, I give you my word as governor that when these fevers have passed, and everything is cleared up, those vagrant elite men will receive their punishment. You know how important your winery is for the island's economy, so please excuse me for suggesting that you stay in your mansion uh, cut off from contact without the outside world. But believe me, I recommend this for your own health and well-being. It's fucked up, man. Oh, they're different. Man. We are sent to hear the news of little, that little Leia has passed away and the government, government sends our sincerest condolences. However, the fact that her death from devil's fevers was kept secret from us for weeks was a despicable act on the part of your family. It's kind of fucked up. Therefore, you and your entire family will be forced into confinement indefinitely without any contact with the outside world until further notice. This this breaks my heart. But the situation caused by devil's fevers is spinning out of control because of your fine reputation and how dear you all are to everyone on the island. We will give you the privilege of stocking up on supplies one last time. Speak with our four speak with the four young men we assign to you about this matter. After this last job, they will no longer be helping you. Oh, I can't. Notice anyone found helping members of the Bennett of Oz family to flee. Any and all who are found helping members of the Bennett of Oz family or their employees will be placed in quarantine in a cell for five months. We urge you, we urge all not to accept bribes from members of the family since they have all been infected with the devil's fevers and constitute a serious health danger. All tunnels and underground accesses to the winery, private cellars, and far the farmhouse have been sealed off and are monitored by authorities. Any family member by the last name Banadabask found by the authorities outside their mansion, mansion will first have their belongings confiscated and burned, then be escorted back to the mansion. This place is huge. Maze. Great. Wine bottle up there. 
Door locked. Alright, so do I go down here, I guess? To John and the other hired workers, your salaries will be reduced by one half for the next two months. The Honorable Mr. Banadevosk has informed me of the following complaints regarding your poor building work on the structure and access to private cellar. Sloppy construction of wooden structures for the tunnels and facade, stones for exterior, exterior opening placed in a very haphazard manner, floor damaged in storage chamber, entrance door to staff, staff housing fallen off the hinges, Extensive scratching on walls of areas where laborers are working. Supervisor J. Pujo. Pujo, I guess. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty <laughs> crazy. Ah, there we go. Or something. Whoa. Looks like somebody got out. A bunch of wine bottles. things. Can I not check these bottles that are obviously still put together? Um, fuck. Okay. That way. Uh. I see that, but let me look around for a sec. Bouncing boxes make you think there's something behind me. Okay. I guess this, this is an extra room. Important announcement from Foreman John Castan so to all workers. As if it were not difficult enough to work for the Benedabask family, now they've become paranoid because of everything with the fever, and they've ordered us to install these strange metallic doors. They are simple to operate. To use these doors, push hard on the lever on the wall. The lever is stiff, so you will have to use some force. The door will shut automatically in a few hours. Why am I like allowed to edit the f the font? It's kind of weird. There's another game that did that too. I wonder if it's just something with like the engine. Hello.
Can I grab one of these planks? Am I supposed to jump? Uh, okay. Oh god, I hate this. I know something's coming up. The fuck is that? Jump down here? What is that? Looks like a fucking <gasps> bubble or something. Of course, I can't do anything with this. Okay. So I guess I go down here. <gasps> Broke my leggies. Like, I don't... Is there anything to do with these bottles? Since come such like a wuss as I've grown older, I used to be so like gung ho about things, but now I'm just like all <laughs> freaked out. So it's a dead end. Oh shit. Do anything to change it? Oh. Uh. Oh, what are you? What am I supposed to do? What the fuck? and whatever that it's like a fucking water skin or something okay but that's not here okay, so like a little water skin or something like that. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> I'm just gonna get hurt so easily. <coughs> Feel a sneeze coming on. So, leaf and corkscrew and wine glass and wine bottle. But how do I get back? Oh, is this just... Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, wait, there's an extra one. Yeah. 
God, this door is freaking the fuck out. I think it's like a gunshot or something. So like a box or something I can use to counterweight. I just have to fucking run, I guess. Okay. Oh shit. Oh. Maybe the barrel. And the box. Oh, well fuck. Maybe the stone? Another stone? Or is that good enough? Huh. It's not so bad. Still can't make it though. Oh, oh, there's another stone. Alright, that should be good, right? This way, maybe. Okay, grab the thing. Thank you. Is that good enough? Yes, it is. God. Ha. It's long ass hallways. Not a fan. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Oh, he's still coming after my ass. Okay. Oh no! Whoa, what? Jesus. What the fuck? Like, he's not even that scary, but... I don't know. It always gets me. forward so I can get up here maybe maybe I like, wonder if I need to like jump off of something to get to it though this is like a box somewhere
These rats are killing me. If I want to go back through, I guess I have to though, I can't jump up. Can I unlock this? Cabinet. What are they they look like cameras. Mother and father, school essay. Mother and father are two gigantic statues you can see from almost every part of the capital where we live. Mother is at the top of the highest peak in the other side of the bay, and father stands at the place where almost everybody works, the Banda Basque Winery. My father works for them, too, as a servant. No one knows who built these statues, but they let the Banda de Basque build their winery below father because they were so nice to everyone. Whenever someone here is sad or crying, they usually go up to visit mother. Mother is good, helps people who come to come to her to feel better. Father is good too. He helps the Bandit of Osk and all of us to make the best wine in the world, whole wide world. Okay. Uh, there is a wine bottle over there. Should we go? I'm going to check downstairs first, I think. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. <clears throat> Outside, I guess maybe a shortcut. What is this? Oh, okay. We've been here before. <clears throat> it's the one that they shut in my face. Even all these things open, man. Somebody's gonna find out. <gasps> Can I get over there? Can. Empty bo bottle. fuck is that? How do I get to it? Doing that before? Huh? I don't remember doing that before. Uh oh. Fuck. Okay, so. Are they just the same? Excuse me. Oh my God. Why did I die? Because I went into the room or <gasps> I 
feel like that's right too. I don't remember that being the only one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, see, it's the same thing, right? Am I just gonna have to die again? So it starts you in a decent spot. We're gonna die. Okay. <laughs> Such a weird thing. Like you have to die. So it's when that's blinking, he's generally around. Maybe I did that wrong. Okay, is that right? Yep. Cool. Looks like a jump scare. Oh boy, here we go. Something went backwards. The ground under your feet cracks. You fall on the debris and are knocked unconscious. Slowly you begin to wake up. It is night now. Oh great. You remember someone dressed in black came near you and locked you in, a, in the room. You are unsure if it was real or a dream. Your eyes slowly adapt to the light, and you wake up with a terrible headache. Little by little, your vision gets a little less blurry. Ghost. Oh, sorry. Okay, it does kind of look important. Symbols on the wall. Is there anything for me to interact with? Yeah, I see the key. Except the door. Is that something? Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy, here we go. Wow, it's, it's a lot. In a tremendously irresponsible outburst after 28 days of quarantine, an indecent mob from the slums attempted to flee by crossing the bridges. They organized during the night and in the early morning hours of the and in the early hours of the morning, an armed mob headed towards toward the bridge attempting to cross them. The mob mainly composed of vagrants and immigrants showed their colors right as they arrived at the bridges when they tried to shoot the guards on the other side. Luckily, none of the guards were killed. Fearing that this would happen sooner or later, the authorities were already prepared and opened fire from their parapets on the other side of the bridges. The dead numbered into hundreds, although none of the guards were killed. Once they saw it, it was impossible to escape the, over the bridges. Many of the rebels jumped from the windows into the river. None survived the drop off at, at the waterfall. The authorities fear that because of the mob, because of this mob, even more residents from the slums may have been infected by the devil's fevers. Death is, in the coming weeks are expected to number into the thousands. First executions carried out for those fleeing the slums. We must stay united and stop situations like like the one that occurred several weeks ago from continuing. The economy will revive when the devil's fevers, as we now, now call them, are over. This newspaper is appealing to the personal responsibility of each and every one of us 
if that means going hungry in a confinement, so be it. For the good of all, the alternative is death. All kinds of noise. <sighs> Spooky house. Don't like it. I thought shit was upside down. <clears throat> Too many cabinets with nothing in them. What's the point of this? They shot her. This miserable Lola shot my wife from the same barricade they built themselves to keep us in. I was trapped in the kitchen while she was bleeding in the hallway. I heard her as she died, trying to get to the dining room. Our son is scared and doesn't want to leave his room. Everyone has abandoned us, all of us. Or all of us who did so much for the capital and its economy hunted like dogs. Everybody blames us now for what happened with the wine. We've gone from heroes to scapegoats. Now I'll try to move out of the kitchen, go save my son, and run to the dining room, dining room the safest place in the house at the moment. The Bannon Abbasque family can't die. Family, Bannon Abbasque name can't die. But if it does, it'll be on my terms. If they break into the house, they won't catch us alive. The most honorable Miss, Miss Ben DeBosk. Wait, okay. I wonder if that's the places they're talking about. All these symbols. Yeah, I don't think there's a purpose to these. Is this supposed to be blood, or what is that? Okay, so that is a crawl space. Anything? It is a lower level. Locked opens from the other side. Wrong code. Where do I enter the code? Okay. I guess I go this way. Lighting candles underneath the house. What the fuck is that? Why? It's so random. So is this... Is he one of the guards, I assume? Sealed off door. Okay, let's go this way, I guess. Ah. Okay, I did not do that. But okay. to the main room. Let's try it, I guess. Oh, boy. It is. Oh. Hey. Fucking flickering light. Okay. Um, let's have one more look around here. Ooh. What's in here, though? <clears throat> oh, cool. 
one's closing on me. Okay, he's just always here, right? like move the rock to see that I mean, that's okay if he wants to flash and like disappear chasing me. Oh. Just haven't activated him yet. That's okay. I mean, he can chill. Wait, really? Is he supposed to be stuck? <laughs> oh, yes. I saw some complaints about this game that people were like complaining about like the um the fact that there's well I guess they talk about it at the beginning but that there's puzzles while being chased like isn't that part of the fun is it really all that bad I think if, I don't know if I'll drown if I walk in there so let's go this way for a sec Unless there's like a really obnoxious one later, but there's something down here. A kitty. Damn, I want to see the other ones now. These like random ass wine rooms. Let's fuck that up. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Oh. Okay, so... fuck is happening <laughs> um eyeball and like hook let's say okay let's probably run down there it's like if i get too scared uh is that like the omega, omega sign and there's that Oh, 
sudden change in music. Is a upside down triangle. Why is everything floating? Is that this? That's the right thing. Um, I don't think it's like try these because I'd imagine. Bad luck. These open? No, they're not open. Okay, great. Nothing. Which means I probably go back and there's gonna be a jump scare. Right? Or let's go this way. Kill me. This is a very small space to be running around in. Oh, this is a runny place, though. Oh, okay. Definitely a running place. I feel like I'm gonna grab it and then they're gonna come out. So let me just explore a little bit. Okay, so that's a mechanism. Is there one on that side too? Oh, there's a cabinet. Just the door. Okay. All right. There's another cabinet. Nothing in it. Just interactive cabinets that don't do anything. Jello. Oh, fuck. Laughed me, like, come on. Bro, you are slow as hell. Oh I 
Okay, I'm gonna drive him this way. And then just sprint the hell through that. Why is he so... Oh my god. Same plan. <clears throat> you can't see me. I have no head. Oh fuck. Go! Oh, you're still coming. Oh, he's faster too. I think. Oh yeah, he's like much faster. Oh, what the fuck? Suck ass, man. Are you gonna pop up here? What the fuck? He a ghost, he just walked into a wall and disappeared. traps for him maybe how do I get up there uh, probably that so stones what if I'm gonna bit like put the stone down and then there's like gonna come out or put the box down This looks fun. Decorated to a kitchen? Ooh. Wait. What is this? Did 
is this? These must be rooms to sleep in. I I can't think of any other reason why they would be here. To all residents who wish to use the underground shortcut to the main square, the passageway suffers from intermittent power outages. The reason for which is still unknown. Those who, do, who don't know the passageway well should avoid using it, since without power the corridor turns into total darkness. On another note, the resident living in the upper penthouse is suffering from strange fevers. This does not seem to have any connection to the winery fevers, but for your safety, please leave your homes as little as possible. Joan Cook, Costa. Yeah, well, what? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, what's happening? All right. Fantastic. Fines for property owners who do not properly ma maintain their structures. As part of the new economic plan, the government has decided to fine owners of uh, buildings and properties with facades facing the public street that pre present an undesirable appearance. These owners will have a period of two weeks to repair any problems with their structures. If left unrepaired, fines will be issued. If repairs are still not made, the property will be seized. Damn. Uh, the government wanted to personally explain these new urban policies in a press conference where no questions were taken. He stated that the island's economy is heavily dependent on wine ex exportation. He clarified that this was not a criticism of the Benedibosk family. However, he feels that the capital needs to find new ways of generating income, Income and tourism is one of them. I'm not doing all this. Therefore, he explained that if, he, if we want tourists to come, come here from other parts of the Republic, we must keep the appearance of the buildings impeccable. The world feels very open at times, and then, but it's like very linear. Oh, shit. I don't know if that means he's gonna be there or what. Flashlight though. I think it's well done. I like the little like the um, delay and angle. Ah, so there's shit in here. Wow. I guess it worth checking any of the cabinets. Just feel like there's nothing in anything. I can just chill here, right? Okay. Can it make it up there? Oh, come on. Mother of God. Oh, I see. Okay. It's this way. Chill here for a minute. Let's see if my lantern like reloads. Take a nap. Oh, the plant kind of freaked me out for a second. Okay, for the attention of the young single man who lives in this in this flat, the community organization has received complaints from noises and shrieking at all hours of the night, during the day, and during the day. The situation cannot continue. Your neighbors have to work long hours in the vineyards and therefore need their rest. If the shouting and noises continue by tomorrow, we'll be forced to notify the authorities. We remind you that if the authorities find any kind of illegal drugs in your home, you will be evicted. 
Joan Costa. Costa. There's a thing down here. If you're reading this message, then you are a resident of the Upper Flats. Due to the terrible situation the city now suffers from, the commonly called Devil's Fevers, we had no choice but to seal the, off the Upper Flats and force residents to stay in their homes. Perhaps if the young man in room B hadn't spent his time with certain people, you wouldn't be confined with no way to go outside. All of the neighbors wish the sick a speedy recovery. Please understand that we are all fearful, so if you need food and water, we won't be able to help you. Those of us who are still healthy wish you all the best, and please remember that we should all behave in a peaceful, civil manner. Joan. Oh, that's really dark. Um, I, I, I got to go to the bottom, I guess. Oh, yeah. God, that, like, blood reddish tile. What's in here? It's a room to hide in, I guess. Okay. But what's the point? That's just, it's probably just to make the like world seem more open. When it actually isn't. And I kind of appreciate that. I don't want it to actually be the open world. Let's just chill here for a sec. Okay. Okay. Because it is very dark. Locked. 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 Okay. Did I miss something here? they locked you missed something here oh oh you fucking guy oh my god oh my god I'm dead I'm dead this must be the fucking puzzle yeah this sucks Oh, dude, it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. Damn, he scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> okay. That's right there. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think though, because all I saw were triangles. He is so fast. He's so fast, it's not fucking cool. I mean, are they all triangles? Like, I'm assuming. Oh, I see. Um. L and Candle. G and candle. Last one. 
fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm really confused. Where is it? It's that little zigzag you see. Is it, are they all candles? Go, go, go. I guess. That's where we're supposed to go. Oh uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I got splashed in the face. Um, you fall off the bridge into a mosquito infested pond of water. With your last ounce of strength, you swim to the water's edge. Once you regain your, regain your composure, you realize that everything is completely silent. No sign of your pursuer. Excuse me? You lost your lantern in the water. Your head is still hurting, so you decide to rest a few minutes by the water. The pain is unbearable. Little by little, you get up and decide to keep going. I wonder how much, like, um, how much more is left. Yo, can you shoot the guy for me? Hello. You don't see me? Ah, uh, there's like a secret over there. It's another kitty picture. I want it. Is the way to go. Oh, come on. Oops. Whoops. Oh my god, why are you jumping like that? Um, I guess I'd have to come down from there or something. It's probably just the way to go. That's the other side. I gotta be pretty close to the end then, right? They're looping me to the beginning. They're blasting me. Whoa! Oh my god. The physics to these boxes are freaking me out. My floaty boat. Goodbye boat. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I guess I'm never leaving the island. What the fuck, dude? Throwing new things at me. Uh, it's the key for the gate, right? 
also here. No, but this doofus is probably right up there. Oh, you f mm. Of course. Then I go back and he's right here. Oh, okay. Oh, you fucking bastard. Why are you there? He's slapping me to death. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Oh, you did it again. You got me again, too. Wait, dude, that is bullshit. Fuck you, dude. Why is this everything a dead end? Why? Jump that? I guess so. Oh, okay, there's a. Oh. These aren't the same. That one is.
ไปเริ่มแบบAm I able to like jump across there? Because I'm gonna be chased or some shit. Oh my god! Of course I am. Wait, there's two? What the fuck? Man, you're gonna make me do that again? First, they blamed us for the devil's fe fevers. Typically, immigrants and poor people always get the blame. But don't any of you dare stop working at the winery while cases of the fevers keep going up and up. And then we rebelled, destroying all the bottles in the of the wine we could find to damage the economy. Then they came looking for the, the leaders and organizers. So we stained our sheets with the wine and hung them from our balconies. If you judge one, judge us all. Uh, th then we were confined to our ghetto. No way of getting more food or water. A dead dog can't spread rabies. They drove us to insani insanity. They starved us to death. We had no choice but to take up arms and try to get out by crossing the bridges by force. They massacred us, but many saw that jumping from our windows into the rivers was an option. Um, even though it meant risking their lives at the waterfall, many did that. Whole families with children. Even the elderly who couldn't swim, the alternative was dying of hunger. Finally, the wor finally the worst came: cannibalism. Damn. Damn. This is actually kind of disorienting. Oh fuck. Like, how long ago was this? That's some nice music, I guess. Is that just like a little Easter egg thing? Uh, this is cannibals. Coming. The cannibals are at our wall. I can hear them tearing it down little by little on the other side. My daughters were braver than me and tried their luck jumping into the river. I hope they survive the waterfall and don't have any more of the psychotic attacks. I'm a coward. I don't have the guts to do it. I just want to die in peace. If I have to die, at least I'll do it with my favorite song playing. So did they like just die or did he get like chomped on and posed in that I was gonna say I kind of I kind of like it on it's cool oof when all this is over Others can judge me. I'll leave this note as a record of what I did. They crushed us, confined us, and starved us to death. My little boy died, and I didn't want to let the same thing happen to my twin girls. That's why I turned to cannibalism. I try to kill as few persons as possible to eat. After all, they've been my neighbors for so long. <laughs> But I know this is a crime. My name is R Ricard Arnau. Arnau? Um, if 
I'm still alive and sane when the devil fevers pass. Judge me, I'm the guilty one. My twin girls don't know the meat I bring back from them as human. Judge me, not them. I'll do whatever I have to survive. Damn. Yeah, fuck that. Is that supposed to be him now? Why are all these bones down here? I was like, am I still crouching? I felt it for some reason. Like, it's so weird. There's nothing here. Why open the cabinets? I still am. I feel like I just need to open them all. Just in case that like one odd time. Okay, there's a lever. See, I'm confused because they're posed. It's not like a nuke went off or something. Right? To all who want to listen, take down the wine stained sheets and blankets from our balconies and windows now. Yes, I do support what they represent. I'm not saying this for ideological per reasons. I've noticed something. All of my neighbors who have gone crazy in confinement had wine soaked sheets hanging. When my husband started acting paranoid and psychotic, I left the blanket fall in the river by accident. Two hours later, he's back to normal. We both still have a fever, but we don't have the hallucinations anymore. Take down the sheets and blankets. Take them down now. Interesting. Is this an endless staircase? So it seems like it. And then I go back down. Something happens. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> My bones are brittle. Oh, Christ. Of course he's here. It's water. You can't see me through this? somewhere? Am I... Break that. I mean, every other piece of wood explodes on impact. So... Okay. So there's little documents, like all the other puzzles. I don't want to trigger him you know, I have to...
Things are moving around in my house. It's been happening since the new merchant came into the city. At first I thought it was my cat, but it only happens when the merchant isn't working. I confronted him about it, but he had the nerve to call me crazy. Uh, I can't do business with him anymore. I'm going to hide in the shadows and wait for him there. We'll have to come back sooner or later. There you go. Mandatory confinement under penalty of death. After the recent uprisings and in view of the rise in cases of devil's fevers in this neighborhood, all residents must be confined to their homes until further notice, no exceptions. Anyone who violates this order will be found and executed. In addition, the hanging of wine stained sheets and other similar textiles from windows and balconies is strictly prohibited. If they are not taken down within 24 hours, this is considered an act of rebellion and sedition. Auth authorities will be authorized to shoot anyone standing from these windows or balconies. Good behavior and strict obedience of these directives will be taken into account in the future when the Benedibosk winery resumes operation. Those that obey those orders without question will be rewarded with higher salaries. I think that's a lie. Rising in the slums were executed and hung from stakes planted in the same river they tried to cross. The governor hopes they serve as an example to anyone trying to escape the, from confinement in the ghetto and that others will think twice before trying something similar again. The lack of solidarity shown to their healthy fellow citizens cannot go unpunished. The bodies have been hung so that all the inhabitants of the ghetto can see as they fall apart and rot. Some of the organizers who were injured or, but not killed were also hung alive, but they're expected to die within two to three days from lack of water or food. Wait, what? Violence and the full weight of the law. Um, oh, okay, so that's what that is. Um, is this the same thing? Yep, okay, same paper. Oh, fuck. Same paper. Okay. Damn. Fucked up. My shoulder hurts. I wonder what the point of that was. I wonder if it's like a secret? Or something? I like void area that I seemingly just skipped. Uh, this is the bridge they were talking about, like the big bridge. Exports of Benedibosk wine break break records. One hundred fifty years ago, the Benedibosks uh, built. The new winery fell below the father statue. At that time, it was controversial. Six years later, the work has completed, or was completed, and the operations began. Now we are starting to reap the rewards from the t that time. Exportation of the first bottles of aged wine from the new winery has begun. The velvety texture and fruity notes of the red wine have made it everyone's favorite. Week after week, records continue to, to be broken in exports and sales. In fact, the only reason more wine isn't being ex exported has to do with the logistical challenges which will be solved soon. The rail system has not been enough to keep up and some of the rail cars have overheated. 
This has made it necessary to use alternate routes, not the one specifically created to connect the winery to the city and ports. Some employees, mostly immigrants from the slums, have complained about all the unpaid overtime hours they are made to work. This newspaper condemns these selfish attitudes that do not look out for the common good. The economic boom that will come from these record exports will improve everyone's quality of life. So we have to assume the small sacrifices will, be, will need to be made as such as longer work hours. Okay. Get in here. Man. Oh, what the fuck? Jesus, dude. Oh my god. Dude. Am I not supposed to go this way? Bitch ass gone now? God. Oh, I thought the game first for a second. You're a dick. I mean, this must, would have been much easier if you just went through one of those big assholes. The same. Like, look at that. Like, they could have made it, like, a, a, like cl more close, so it doesn't feel kind of weird. God, the tunnel is so tiny. I'm about to be down here. And it feels like it. So this must go to the outside. I must feel like he's gonna be like sniping me. Can you go this way? Because I went that way.
I'm like wonder. I'm really wondering if he's gonna snipe me or something. What the hell? Are there birds? I guess. Look funny. How long is this game? That'd be way shorter. Okay, so that's how you get up and over there. Um, oh wow, I can't even go. scared. Wait, dead? Is that the end? Did he smash my fucking head? Like, what happened? After getting kicked, everything goes blurry. You start choking on your own blood. The dark figure in front of you is completely still as your lip, life slips away. Your lip slips away. Um, suddenly, the dark figure grabs you and starts to drag you through the rails. You pass out. After a while, you regain consciousness. You are naked. Someone has healed your wounds. There is a note on the wall. Oh, two beds and a cigarette. What's happening in here? Look, at first I came to the capital to save crazy people like you, but now I've taken a liking to hunting and killing your kind. But I thought twice about it. I've decided not to kill you. Yeah, I'm having a good time with you. You're welcome for healing your wounds. I have the last unopened bottle of red wine. Do you want it? I'll wait for you in the wine cellars. You're still delirious, but if you manage to snap out of it and find me, I'll give it to you. I left you the key that opens... Okay, A-R-O. So, um... I can't remember his name, but, yeah. Just kept from before. Um... Jeez. Ooh, pretty. So nice. fuck is all this memo from the funeral company regarding the work being done at the winery we are sad to inform you that with the utmost respect that we must immediately stop all recovery of bodies of the uh Panadipask winery workers some of our employees are beginning to present the same symptoms as the winery workers in our absence we recommend that all dead bodies be burned we understand that our decision to stop funeral services in the winery will bring consequences. Even so, as a gesture of respect to the governor and above all the Benedabasks, we will not let anyone know what's occurring in the winery. This place is crazy. Some uncharted shit. I guess this is the way to go. Well, we'll just go over here real quick. I have a feeling there's not going to be much. Oh, there's an opening. It's a secret. 
How do I get over it? This winery is accursed. Today makes one month since the, sa the fateful day when so many of my workmates perished in the landslide. The Bandit of Oz solution forces to work endless hours to the point of exhaustion. Many workers are suffering from strong fevers and terrible hallucinations. The Bandit of Oz solution working us to death if necessary to repair the old cellars. After seeing workmates die one day after another, I finally worked up the courage to run away. I accept my consequences. Let them come look for me in the forest and accept theirs. No, I don't see a way over it. Do we have to do this? Is that him? I think that's him. I mean... You saved me just to fuck with me, huh? Was he gonna sh shoot at me? Is he not gonna shoot? Dude. I mean, I'm missing something, but what? It's like red over there. Oh my god. was a hole in the ground. Mm. Uh -huh. Is there going to be a puzzle? It sure looks like it. Because they're little mazes to get lost in. Oh, you fucking bastard. Jeez. Why? I hope I don't have to like dodge both of them for some fucking reason. Okay. the other side, right? Roaches. Sam. 
don't like people. Let's see what's back over here. Fragile. You're fucking, oh, my God. Where am I going? Oh my god, dude. Intense as hell. Oh my god, fucking go, dude. Oh, come on. Okay, uh, that and that. I'm smacking me. What? Ah! I don't understand. Where am I supposed to go? Stop slapping me! God, will you please? What? fun. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, fuck. What was that? Um, and a hook. Okay. You suck. I hate you. Oh, 
No, stop. Drop the fucking thing and go. Booger. What? How did you hit me? Alright, kind of lazy down here. Let's go. Last one. Eyeball. Oh, it's the eyeball and like the third. Eyeball and an umbrella. Um, let's take the air. Kidding. Oh, not this again. <laughs> Fucking shit. Ah! Ooh, scary. Is he still coming after me? Take my flashlight away. So I want was a drink, a full unopened bottle of wine. You're an asshole. <laughs> Is he just gonna <laughs> kill me now? The box is in the way. Is that it?
several years later. Like, I don't want to stop. I don't want to, like, go back home. Oh, we're at one of the... Is this Mother? The economic recovery is slowing down. Eight years has, has, have passed since the infamous Devil's Fevers, but the aftermath remains. After the purge and the demolition of the Banna de Basque winery and all of its bottles, the capital has had to transform its economy into one, of its, one that isn't dependent on wine exports. An enormous effort has been made by everyone, and the economy gained momentum again. But the torrential rain of the last few weeks has caused tourism to plummet. The governor, governor assures that there is no reason for alarm, that when the rains pass, the economy will bounce back, reminding that this is not the first time this has happened, and ask all of its citizens to be patient. Exclusive interview, Albert Roig. That's the dude, isn't it? Or was it with a D? New pools of wine discovered eight years later. A group of youths has discovered undrained standing pools of wine in some of the capital's rarely used underground tunnels eight years after the devil's fevers ended. During the first stages of the pandemic, when no one yet knew that the Banana Basque wine was causing the fevers. Many winery workers rebelled because they were forced to keep working to protect the island's economy. In protest, they smashed all the bottles of wine they could find to stop them from being exported. These uprisings only worsened the pandemic. If other similar pools of wines are fine, found, all citizens are urged to report them to the authorities as soon as possible. Do not get come close to them. Coming close to the wine without a face covering can cause serious delirium, typical of devil's fevers. Among the, among the most common symptoms are hallucinations, spatial disorientation, obsessive thirst for more wine, mania, and feelings of being chased, and in worst cases, high fever and cardiac arrest. Hallucinations begin minutes after contact with these pools. So is this, was I just hallucinating the whole time? Albert Roig's hat. Roig. Enough. We've demonized the Banana de Basques long enough. It wasn't their fault that the fevers were caused by their wine. It was a disaster, but unintentional. We still don't know what happened to the aged wine stored in the cellars. Obviously, when the first bottles of that cursed harvest were opened, it was too late. The Banana de Basques were victims just as much as the rest of us. They deserve a tribute as well. What was done to that family when it was discovered that the wine was causing the fevers and hallucinations was mass murder. Even if in the past they exploited their workers and got rich at their expense, they deserve justice too. Above all, the boys and girls of the Banner de Vosques that were hunted down and killed. Okay. We must ask them for forgiveness. It is offensive that on this monument to the victims, the Banner de Vosques aren't mentioned. Justice for all. To the victims, pain, weeping, anguish, but also hope. Tribute to the... 5,473,723 dead during the devil's fevers. The survivors will always remember you. Damn. To the heroes, to the ap apothecaries and healers for your efforts in fight against the devil's fevers. To Albert Roig, who risked his life traveling to the desolated capital all on his own to save the most delirious infected persons. He found 47 and was able to save 8. To the wise men whose discoveries were crucial to the ending the devil's fevers. You can't come back home. Leave the letter at the grave first. Letter? And what grave? Oh. Uh,
in memoriam Marty Vermello, father and last victim of the devil's fevers. Hello, Dad. It's already been eight years since you passed away. I'm still not past it. Visiting your grave is a tradition now. This year I met Albert Roig. He told me that about how he found you dead with your head full of glass from the bottle you smashed yourself with. It's rough, but in a way, knowing how you died brings me peace. I just hope I stop having nightmares. Albert has become a celebrity. They almost worship him. I feel proud and overwhelmed just to know him. In fact, he left his hat beside the monument to the victims months ago, and nobody has taken it. Sometimes I think about the irony of it all. To be unaffected by the fevers, all we had to do was cover our face like Albert did. Would you be alive today if we had had known that one stupid thing before? Anyway, I like having him around. No, Dad, don't worry. You'd like him. When you look past the hero image, they paint him with he's very approachable and considerate. Even so, want to know a little secret? Every day he's always whistling. And that gets a bit annoying. There had, there had to be one bad thing about him, but don't tell him. It's our secret. Your daughter, who still misses you another year. So this, I mean, this is obviously inspired by the pandemic. Yeah. Um, fuck. But I'm kind of, I'm like, wondering if he... If this is all hallucination, or all of that was hallucination, um, I don't know. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. That was cool. I enjoyed that for the most part. It relied a little too much on the, um, uh, the kind of like chase puzzles like the same thing it'd be cool to see different style of puzzles um, but overall it's, it's pretty cool pretty damn scary got me quite a few times um, and I enjoyed the story too it was um, I don't know so it's, it's a little close to home um, but yeah uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed the, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Um, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you play this game. What do you think of it? Did you enjoy the story, the message, um, all that, all that stuff? Yeah, uh, let me know, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.